And so I had right. all these followers on LinkedIn that I had grown and I had this asset that I could leverage that wasn't my podcast, but my ultimate goal was to grow my podcast. So I reached out to all the different players out there, all the different blogs about podcasting, all my, uh, any sort of service that I use for podcasting. And I would just do this all day. It's what I call trade audiences. I mentioned before, I think it's really important for people to exhaust all their opportunities and to grow leverage. And it doesn't necessarily have to start with your podcast. So for me, I started my LinkedIn personal journey at the same time as my podcast. Two years into my podcast, I was at this plateau. I was a huge LinkedIn influencer, but my chart was stagnant. And every month I would get like 5,000 downloads a month and it never seemed to get higher, like maybe just like marginally different every month. And I thought to myself, there has to be a better way. Um, and one of the things that I had to do is reframe my mind in terms of what mattered. All I cared about was Apple. Right. And then I started to think I need to really understand this industry. There's so much more to this. And then I realized there were 70 different players outside of Apple and Apple really only makes up 20 or 30 percent of listenership. This was about two years ago. And so I had right. all these followers on LinkedIn that I had grown and I had this asset that I could leverage that wasn't my podcast. But my ultimate goal was to grow my podcast. So I reached out to all the different players out there, all the different blogs about podcasting, all my uh, any sort of service that I use for podcasting, my software, my hardware. And I just said, I just sent them an email. Hey, what's going on? My name is Hala. I have this podcast. It's pretty big. I've had great guests. I'm one of the biggest influencers on LinkedIn. I'll do a post for you on LinkedIn in exchange for you writing a blog, in exchange for you featuring me in your app, in exchange for you sending out an email blast. And I would just do this all day. It's what I call trade audiences, right? I trade audiences. So I'd say, I'll give you my LinkedIn audience if you give me your podcast audience. And I kept doing that until all of a sudden my my downloads skyrocketed. I skyrocketed on the charts. I became a number one education podcast across all apps. And I got on the cover of Podcast Magazine and then everything sort of accelerated. And that was my first like hockey stick point of growth. Other Before that, it was very, very consistent. And it was all from thinking outside the box and I didn't pay for any of it. Mm -hmm.